Good day, viewers. This is Healing the Whole Team, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. Thank you for being part of today's episode. We trust the Holy Spirit that you will be mightily blessed in Jesus' name. Um, today, we are continuing from where we stopped last week um, with Pastor Adeyoju. And uh, by the grace of God, is in the house again to bless us with the Word of God. We started a series on knowing the will of God, that is hearing from God, walking with God, knowing the will of God, hearing from God. So, and being able to do what you hear. Now, today we are looking at some of the blessings of hearing from God, of knowing God's will and doing it. Um, we're going to be praying now. And after the prayers, we'll return, we'll return. Pastor, our guest, will be ministering to us by the grace of God. In Jesus' name. But before then, let me encourage you to please kindly call your friends, your relatives, your acquaintances to join to watch this program. And if they cannot join because of their distance to you right, right now, encourage them to log in on to www.dovemedia and go to live telecast or they go to YouTube and watch it on via YouTube or they can also watch it live right now on DSTV. Uh, as they do so, the Lord will bless them. Dove Media, Dove TV on DSTV. God will bless you as you do so, and you will not regret encouraging them to watch. Please kindly let us pray. Lord in heaven, we want to thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness again for this episode. We thank you for what you've done in the last, in the last episode. We thank you for all our viewers. We thank you for their families. Thank you for their work. Thank you for their nations. Thank you for their churches. We appreciate you for your wonders and your mercies over their lives. Receive our praises in Jesus' name. As we go into this session today, we pray that God, you will reveal your will to us and teach us how to hear from you and help us to do what we hear sincerely. Let the heavens be open over all our hearers and let there be mighty testimonies from today's program. Take all the praises. Glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We'll go on a short break, please, and stay tuned. Welcome back. Once again, this is Healing the Heart in Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. We are looking at knowing the will of God, knowing the will of God, or hearing from God. You know, and we have in the house a wonderful man of God, a very dear friend, and that's in the person of Pastor Adinyoju. He's the region evangelist in charge of region, um, region 19 of based in Victoria Island, um, Lekki, based in Lekki, Lagos, okay. Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. And I want to trust God, I mean, based in Ikeja, beg your pardon, based in Ikeja, Akme, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. And I believe God that God will use him mightily today. Pastor, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much thank for you. having me. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. being part of the program again. We are so thank, grateful. Thank you. Um, today we are looking again, we are continuing from where we stopped last week and uh, we're looking at the blessings of knowing the will of God, the blessings of hearing from God. And I would like us to look at Genesis chapter 12 quickly. And Genesis 12 from verse 1 downwards, we say, And the Lord uh, had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make thee a great nation, of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and cause him that cause thee. And in thee shall the families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abraham was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. Now, Abraham, for the first time in his life, had an encounter with God, and God spoke to him. He heard from God. God appeared, God ministered to him, revealed his will for his life. God gave him a direction for his life and showed him also his purpose, I mean, the reason for his existence, and revealed all these things to him, all in a very short moment. And Abraham was instructed to live where he was, 
to another place. This was a comprehensive revelation of his entire life. And Abraham was able to follow God and his life changed. Hearing from God, knowing the will of God, doing it, you know, over to you. That's just, that's just what I wanted well, to. Th thank you very much. Uh, there are so many blessings when a man is able to discover the will of God for him and is able to key into it. Able just like hear from able to hear and uh, obey whatever is the leading of the Lord. Like we have read the story of uh, Abraham. Abraham. Abraham was 75 years old at that mm. time. You see, several blessings. I will just mention a few. Uh, number one, the moment you are able to discover the will of God for your life, and you are able to key into it, you are able to obey it, you are able to go along with it, you can be rest assured that the presence of God will be with you. Will be with you. Amen. Mm, the presence of God will be with you. Mm. And uh, when the Lord is with you, you can be rest assured, you begin to have uncommon testimonies along your way, uncommon mm. testimonies Amen. along your way. Uh, because the presence of God being with you will be unfolding mysterious things, mm. will be unfolding supernatural things, things mm. that are not common Amen. When, 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 when the Lord is, is with you. So the, 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 the number one blessing and the greatest of the blessing is that you will enjoy the presence of God. That's, that's, that's not all. Yeah. When you are able to know the, 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 the will of God, mm. if you look at that story of uh, Abraham, Abraham yeah. you will discover that the moment you obey God, mm. the moment you key into the, yeah. the, 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 the will of God for yeah. his life, yeah. he, 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 he experienced a great turnaround. Turn around. Amen. He experienced a great turnaround. Amen. He experienced a great turnaround. Mm. He, he, was, he, he, was, he was breaking, he was breaking new ground. Hallelujah. He was breaking new ground. Amen. He was breaking new ground because of that presence of, of, uh, of, of God, of God with him. Mm. And uh, he also, when you, even in the life of uh, Abraham that we took a look at, mm. when the presence of God is with you, it doesn't matter your age. Mm. Your potentials will be unveiled. Mm. They will come unveiled. alive. Yes. They come we, to the fore. Yes. Mm. The, your, the potential. You see, every man is loaded. Amen. Every, every man, man is loaded. Is loaded. Mm. God never created anyone for no, he never do nothing for nothing. Amen. Are you getting one? Mm. He has a purpose for everything. And when God make a thing for a purpose, he will load him with what he require. Amen. You see, when you take a look at the gospel according to St. Matthew, mm. uh, verse 25, you will, Jesus was sharing it, a parable, a parable of a man mm. that was going to a far country and he called his servants, three mm. of them, Mm. He gave to one five talents. He gave to the, uh, the other one uh, two talents, and the third one he gave to he gave one talent. Mm. The Bible says according to their abilities. Mm. In other words, every man is talented. Hallelujah. Mm. Every man is talented, mm. and these talents will not come into manifestation until you discover mm. the will of God for your life. Amen. That's why when you see someone who is, who is shining, mm. he's shining because he's been able to discover the purpose of God mm. for his life. You will discover that when Abraham encountered God and discovered the plan of God for his life, from that moment and around forward, with it. And yes, around, around with, it. with it, from that moment forward, you will discover that his life began to shine. Mm. Somebody who was never known, mm. who was never known, became relevant. Effortless, effortless rise. Yes, became very relevant. Mm. Became very relevant. And to so much that 
anywhere he went, anywhere he went, he was he was feared. You remember when he went to uh, to me with uh, Abimelech, and uh, he, he was he was he was fearing what the people would do, mm -hmm. and so he introduced his wife as a, as a sister. As a sister, and God spoke. You know. That's when you are walking in the will of God, the mm. presence of God is, mm. is all around you. God mm. spoke to Abimelech mm. and told him, hey, never do anything with that, mm. that, that man's way, mm. otherwise you are dead. <laughs> you get what? That can only be God. And that we, that we manifest when we are walking in the will of God. Mm. And uh, I also discover that anyone who is able to discover the, the, the the, the purpose, the will of God for his life, mm. when is, is, he will live a purpose-driven life. Mm. It will not be purposeless. Mm. It will not be directionless. Mm. Like his a, life, like a rolling stone. Yes, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will his, his life will be, will, will follow a definite path, a mm. definite path. For instance, Jesus was saying in John chapter four, verse 34, he said, my meat is to do the will of God who has sent me yeah. and to finish it. And to fulfill it. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. In John chapter 9, verse 4, he said, I must do, I must, I must do the, the work of him that sent me. Why it is day mm. for the night coming when, when no man, man can, can walk. walk. Mm. You see, these are purpose-driven life. Mm. Purpose-driven life. When you look at the life of Abraham too that we read, it was it was purpose. He, he had the definite place he was going. God was leading him mm. in the direction is supposed to follow in life. Mm. That's why it is important for us, for every child of God to discover the purpose of God for him. If we will not be beating about the bush. We will mm. not be beating about the bush. If, if, if you discover the purpose of God for your life in business, you will not be doing the, uh, be a bricklayer today, be a carpenter tomorrow, and jack of be a jack of all trades and master of no. no. Mm. It, you will be you will be focused. You will mm. be you will be focused. You will be focused on whatever you are doing. Even when you are having challenges, you will have the confidence that tomorrow will be all right because you know this is the will of God for you. Mm. So it's it's, 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 it's a great so many blessings when we are able to discover the purpose of God for our life, and, and, and we are running with it. And every, every challenge on your way, mm. every crisis that comes your way, it will be registered in your heart that weeping may endure for a night, joy coming in the morning, morning. So that tomorrow will be far better than today. today. Mm. Because you know what you are doing is the will of God for you. Mm. Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, it says, the path of the just is like a shining light that shineth brighter, brighter and brighter and brighter by the day. And, by the day. Mm. and so you will discover that where, uh, where people are, are, are complaining and murmuring and doing all kinds of things, you, you'll be peaceful. Hallelujah. Mm. You'll be peaceful, you'll be joyful because you know this is what God has destined me to do. This is the will of God for yeah, my life. Yeah, this is And you, you'll be seeing results, Amen. awesome results. Amen. That will be encouraging you. Hallelujah. That will be encouraging you that no, ah, because the, the, the presence of God that is with you will, will, be, very, will, will be very remarkable. Will be very mad. It will be conspicuous for everybody to see that no, no doubt the, the hand of God is, is upon this, this fellow. Hallelujah. Abraham, even at the age of 75, was able to do awesome things for the Lord because he was able to. The same thing with uh, Moses. You know, Moses encountered God at the age of, at the age of 80. At the mm. age of 80, started he, this ministry. Yes, he encountered God. And look at his, his life followed the definite direction. Mm. Definite, you see, losses will be to the barest minimum. Mm. Losses. Losses of resources, mm. losses of, uh, uh, of efforts, of losses of, of time will be reduced to the barest minimum because you, 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 your path is lightened. Amen. You know where you are going. Amen. You know where you are going. And all the resources that are available to you, you'll be able to channel them towards where you are going. Mm. 
Are you getting it? Yeah. Apostle, Paul, Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, he said, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. Mm. He said, but one thing I do, mm. forgetting mm. things it? behind yeah. and reaching forth the things onto that things that are right. before. That's, this, this, is the, this is the statement of people who are able to identify the will of God for their life, and they are working along. They are, they are walking along. So it, it is important it, and it is very beneficial, beneficial to every child of God to, to know the will of God and, yeah. and key into it. Everybody around you will know that no, this fellow, he knows what we are going. He knows where he's going. Mm -hmm. And you'll be, able to, uh, you'll be able to enjoy the followership of so many people. Hallelujah. Enjoy the followership of so many people because people want to follow the man that knows where he's going. Who knows the way? Yes, who <laughs> knows where he's going? The man uh, knows where he's going. Yes, but a man who doesn't know where he's going, no, no, he won't enjoy the followership of people. That's why, even at, at the family level, even at the family level, uh, uh, the head of the family must be able to know the will of God. For his family. Uh, for his family. Hear from God. Hear from God, know the will of God, and key into it. And he will suddenly discover that everyone in the family will fall, in, everything will fall in place, resources, and the, the, every member of the family will be able to follow that will that is meant for, that, that is the will of God. Amen. And be able to carry everybody along. Amen. And likewise, a pastor too should be. Able of to course, know the Lord. I, uh, very important. He doesn't hear because they can uh, be pastor uh, without uh, hearing uh, from uh, God. Of course, of course, it's, it's even it's even very important for a pastor. You can't you can't lead the sheep if you are if you don't know where you are going. You can't lead the sheep if you don't know if you don't know the will of God. Part time, you will not be able to move the people along with you. You will not be able to. You don't have a vision. You don't know. You don't know uh, uh, the next thing to do. You will nobody, not be able to know the next line of direction. Nobody will follow. Mm, nobody will level. follow you. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, it's, it's it's very important. Amen. Mm, very important for us to be able to. You know. know, you know the there's will a of passage. God. Sorry, sir. You know there's a passage in the Mark chapter one that have always that's always encouraged me um, when Jesus Christ had healed miracles that happened. People had gathered, mm. and had a breakthrough in that community mm. or in that city. And the disciples came to him for early morning. Oga, people are already waiting, you know, let's start going there. The Lord said, Go to where? <laughs> no, I'm not going there today. Mm -hmm. Because we'll go to the next village. Yes, he understand, he, he understand the, the I will mean, of God for him. I mean, per second, if, per if second. one does not hear from God, yes, he will not go anywhere. If I, because if a, if a man of God does not hear from God, he would just say, Hallelujah. Say, so you mean they've gathered? Glory be to God. You know, that was, so that was, that was, crowd that has gathered again. That was, that was, <laughs> that was uh, an incident that happened uh, many years back that, uh, <laughs> that really, really caught my attention. A man of God went to, to pay a visit to one of the members. And the member, and the member told him, Ah, sir. Um, I'm leaving for I'm leaving for Republic of Benin, and this man of God said, "Can I follow you?" <laughs> <laughs> I was transfused where I was. I said, "Ah, follow." Does it mean you don't have anything doing today? <laughs> Do you know what is going there for? <laughs> Are you, is, this, 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 yes, you can you can you can imagine you can imagine that a whole pastor. Saying to the member, "Can I follow you? Do you know what is going? Do you know how long it goes? It goes to take." So that 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 is that is a, a purposeless life, a purposeless life, a purposeless life. So oh, when you are God. able to identify the will of God for your life, you'll be able to maximize time. You'll be able to maximize time and resources. Yes, and resources. Mm, the Lord God. will help us in Jesus. Amen. Now, I just want to say this to our viewers before we close for the session today and we're going to pray shortly. You know, Abraham, God spoke to Abraham and he heard from God even as a non-believer. He was not yet saved. He was not, he didn't have, he had not had an encounter with God in his life. He was, he was an idol worshiper when God revealed 
is real to you. So if God can speak to an idol worshiper. The, the love of God is to all. Yes, the love of God, God is to all. God can speak to you. So, to so if you're a child of God, how do you say God does not speak to you? He wants to speak to you. If Abraham could recognize the voice of God and could hear from God, you can hear from God. You can hear from God. You can hear from God. God wants you to hear. He wants to give you a direction and a leadership. He wants to lead you on the path to go. Remember Psalm 23. He leadeth me beside the still waters. God wants to lead you. He wants you and I to hear from God. And, and the second thing I want to say there before we also pray is that after Abraham began to walk with God, he rose to prominence. Of course. He rose that's, to prominence. That's, that's fact, what I was saying. That was when his business started, mm -hmm. really. That's because true. before he heard from God, it, it, it was, in, that was in, when the boom in, came to his yes, business. In, in Genesis 24, I think verse 35, yes, the, the servant was giving testimony about him. He said, the Lord has blessed my master greatly. 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 He has blessed him greatly. So yes. Abraham eventually became great because he was able to identify the will of God for his life. So those who hear from God, they will end up being great. Mm. And not only that, he had so many soldiers. He had an army. Of course. He could raise up an army that could fight the whole nation. Of course. You know? Of course. Because he was Be working in the will. They know where they are God, going. You know? <laughs> I'm praying for you today that your years and days of remaining small is over. Amen. Your, your season of littleness, Amen. your season of smallness Amen. Is, is over. Amen. All we need to do, if, if only we can devote more time to seek the mind of God mm. and know the will of God for our lives and run with it, you know, run with it. You know, whatever God has placed in your hands to do, just do it faithfully. Knowing that it is, don't look at somebody else. Don't compare yourself with somebody else. If only you can hear from God. If you know God's will, you will not be envious of anybody. You will not contend with anybody. You will not struggle for, with, for anything with anybody. You are not hustling for position. You are all not hustling for any acquisition of anything because you know what God wants for you. And you'll be fulfilled. You'll be satisfied. You'll be happy. And you know that wherever you are, God will meet your needs there in the name of Jesus. If you're a pastor, and you know the will of God for you. If God has called you to be a prophet, you're a prophet and you are holding a pastoral office, you will use that office as a platform to accomplish the will of God for you. Right there and there as a pastor, you will prophesy and you'll be fulfilling your prophetic ministry and doing the will of God for your life and glorifying God. And judge will be blessed, the kingdom will be blessed, and God will be glorified and people will be blessed. I just want to encourage you that God will bless you. Next session is going to be very powerful. Please don't miss it. Uh, I want you to be expectant and invite people to join. And I believe, God, that you're going to have a great testimony in Jesus' name. If you're not giving your life to Christ, you can give your life to Jesus today. Remember, Abraham did not remain an idol worshiper. God spoke to him. He moved from being an idol worshiper to becoming a worshiper of the living God. So you two need to move today to begin to worship the living God. And God will begin to speak to you the more. The speaking to God of God to you is progressive and you'll know more. We're going to be praying now. Pastor will pray with you and with all of us. And I believe God, something new will start today. Your years and season of smallness is over. Amen. It's time to become Amen. great and to rise to prominence in life Amen. and fulfill destiny. Amen. Let us pray, please. Pastor. Father, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to bless you for your word. Lord, we pray, Lord, that in the life of everyone under the sound of our voice, that your kingdom will come Amen. and your will will be done in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Lord, no one's destiny will be wasted in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord God of heaven, we pray that everyone listening to us will fulfill purpose, will fulfill oh, yes. destinies in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Lord, we ask, oh God, in the name that's above every other name, that by the reason of, of the discussion of today, you will launch many into their destinies Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, Thank and you, your Lord. eternal purpose for every one of us will come to pass. Amen. Lord, that at the end of the day, we shall say, 
Lord, what uh, Apostle Paul said, I have fought a good fight. Amen. I have finished my course. Amen. Lord God of Israel, we shall all finish our course in the name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. To everyone under the sound of our voice, give, give everyone grace to live long and live well in the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Amen. Father. And on the last day, let us reign with you. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Amen. And just declare, I will serve the living God. God. Nah. Beginning from today, I will serve the living God. Amen. I surrender my heart to Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and reign in my life from this day henceforth. Thank you for saving my soul. I confess my sins. I receive eternal life by faith through grace in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you so much for being part of today's episode. The Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Amen. See you same time next week on Healing the Hurting, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. Please don't forget to join us and advertise the program and be expectant in Jesus' mighty name. Have a pleasant weekend in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.